Good morning out there, pair programmers. My name is Jeff Fritz. Welcome back to my channel. It's January 20th, 2019. I've got my diva hat on today because we're co-streaming. We're going to be streaming with Quill Tony now. You might be able to hear her in the background. Are you over there, Quill Tony? I am. All of a sudden, my camera's out. Oh, no. I'm like, where is my camera? My people can't see me. <laughs> it's because I think I fed the camera into Discord when we were preparing and talking. So, I have no camera. <laughs> yeah, shut off the camera on Discord. Yes, I am. I am. I've got it. Yes, yes. Okay, now, my people are like, what is going on? What is going on? Because they see its frozen face of me. Not for long. Oh, my gosh. Deactivate. Oh my gosh. Activate. Hey, there I am. Hi. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. You're wearing a diva hat. I am wearing Why a diva. Are you wearing a diva hat? Right. Because but you're the diva of quilting here, right? My gosh. You've got the, look, look at the background there. Look at all the quilts you've got up there. Oh my gosh. Friends on my channel, if you can't see what Quill Tony's got, you're only seeing my face. Make sure you execute the the bang duel command. You can do it in either one of our channels, and you'll be yeah. able to get a, a page that shows both video Capes, at the same time. Capes, honey. Yes. D-U-E-L. That's if you're fighting each other. That is not a duel. D-U-A-L. <laughs> Woo! Casey Renee Cosplay. Thank you so much for that resub. I love you, woman. And uh, thank you, Tagaron, for kicking that off. All right. <laughs> my gosh, this is going to be crazy today. I don't know. Yes. The, folks on my channel, I don't know if you've caught Quill Tony, but there's a ton going on over there. So much fun. And and my gosh, you do giveaways. You have all kinds of video uh, widgets and gadgets that happen all the time. I, I do. In fact, um, I just got another uh, one year anniversary. Thank you, Capes and Aries. Oh my gosh. You. Uh, we already have a giveaway, by the way, Fritz. We, we've already hit that 30 watcher and we're one sub away from a second giveaway. But I'm going to, after we do our whole thing and explain what's going on, then I'm going to actually start doing it. All right. All right. So, <laughs> oh, um, and Fairy's very upset. She can only host one of us, apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to have fun. Uh, uh, let's see. Zoltra Lord in my chat says, somehow I can just see someone coming up to me at work tomorrow saying, looks like someone has a case of the Mondays with a voice like Quill Tony's. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay. We're going to have I, fun I, today. I do, I do get a little high pitched and I do get a little, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It happens. <laughs> so I, um, I don't know if, if so you're, you do a, a follower goal and you have giveaways. You give away uh, currency. You give away, you call them pixels on your stream. I don't mm -hmm. do things like that, but I am doing... A, a follower goal right now, and you can see it over my shoulder here. When I get to a 5,000 followers, I'm dying my beard rainbow, and mm -hmm. we're at 4969. Um, uh, so 4969. So that means you're 31 followers away from die. That's and and what goal are you hitting again? I'm dying my beard rainbow colored. Maximum Homer Drive, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Acrophobic Pixie. You're amazing. So now we have two giveaways after we're finished with our lovely Oh my gosh. Yes, okay. Yes. But yes. I normally write code here on Sundays. I'm not going to be making a quilt. <laughs> and I'm not going to write code. Right. So Please. here's here's where it's going to be where it's going to be interesting, folks. Um, you've got some interesting things that you want to do to your new Shopify site. Folks can see over my shoulder here. I do. Now it is, I did purposely make it live. Please, 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 everyone do not buy anything today as we're doing this. It is live just so you can pop in and look at it and you can see the changes as we're doing them. You can actually see them live. You can refresh and go, oh, hey, look, that's how that works. Or if you've got a suggestion, if you're like, Tony, why don't you have this? You right. can and see it and you can do it. And the coders, pair programmers that are sitting here on my channel, as we're going through and building things, I want to be able to get your feedback so you can say, oh, you know what, Jeff, you've got the CSS configured wrong, so it's styled incorrectly, or we need to fix some JavaScript here so that you can offer some good feedback. Yep. So I'm going to be working on, if you're like, wait, why the dual stream, though? Why isn't Tony just a guest on Fritz's channel? Um in my stream, not only do I do I quilt, I do giveaways, I have rewards, I have craziness things all going on at the same time, but I also teach business. 
Um, I have a master's of business degree. This is my business. I've been doing this for a living now for 12 years. Um, it's one of those things where I like to help other people get to where I am. And so I am always transparent with everything I do. I always I have non-quilters watching me all the time for that stuff. So I'm going to be looking at the business aspect of how to use Shopify in general. If you don't have an amazing programmer like Fritz, it's still easy to use. And yep. it's he's just going to make it pretty and nice and awesome. So we're going to talk about the business stuff. So getting into this a little bit and what's important for, for the developers on my side is we need to get some idea of requirements. We need to figure out well, wh where do we actually want to enhance the storefront? Um, and we actually have a couple questions here on my side. We'll get to those in, in a second here because we're actually going to mute each other a little bit so we can focus mm -hmm. on our individual streams. Um, but the storefront right now has some great information here about upcoming appearances, some social links over here, but I didn't see anything about Twitch. Yeah, and the reason there, if you look down here, there's lovely social things. This is one of the overlays um, that you see. Oh, that's weird, Zulil. Uh, Cadgar won't let you comment with the dual screen. That's, that's weird, but you can see both chats. You may just have to open up a second window to comment then. Um, so this is one of the, um, the, the overlays that they actually have. Um, and with that, the social media is set in stone. It actually has an option where, let's see if I edit that, and I go here. If I go down to the social, so sidebar, theme settings, you see here you've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, you've got Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, Google. So you pop those in, and it automatically does it. But you know, there's it, nowhere for Twitch. Right, it puts an icon for these known good social locations. Okay, so we want to add Twitch into this. Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad to do. Okay, we can we can do that. And we can actually, you know, what's what's interesting, if we wanted to add, you know, these other social services, Facebook, tw uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, they're, they're nice, but they're all static resources. It might be cool if not just put a Twitch button there, but what if we make it actually show when you're live with some sort of an indicator, right? How, uh, Fritz told me that the other day. I was like, wait. So you can put something there that when I'm actually live, it'll change it on my site. So if someone goes to my site, they're like, oh, hey, she's streaming now. They can click on it and come here. Yeah, right? And, oh, and so some, of our, some of my viewers, the pair of programmers there in my chat room, already have some ideas that they're kicking out there to, to write a little bit of script, to inject a button. Yes, exactly. I think that's going to be a great way to go. But we need to behave for, right, it, this isn't a website that we own. Right, Quiltoni is is using the Shopify service, so we mm -hmm. we need to integrate with their tools. So we're going to go through and talk about that a little bit. Wow, thank you so, all the followers on my side that have been coming oh, through. Wait, so wait, you got a whole bunch of followers. What are you up to? Forty nine seventy four. Forty nine seventy four. So guys, don't forget, uh, we've both put this out on Twitter. I have it on Facebook. Oh crap, I forgot to put it on Instagram. All right, I got to do that right now. It's Instagram. <laughs> it's Instagram. Um, yeah. What's Instagram? Well, hang on, hang on. You know what? You know what I'm realizing? Hang on. What? I didn't okay. I didn't do the, the thing we wanted to do. One second. Everybody out there watching on my side. Hold on one second. Thing thing we Oh, yeah. Oh no. I thought I thought you were just gonna ignore that thing. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> he we we got we've been doing all the technical stuff. Okay, I'm stuff. back now. Yeah, I know. There we go. See, th th this is I. The joke is completely gone. I wanted to start like this, <laughs> See, but but and that's what happens whenever you 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 meet an hour and a half before the stream, and we get all this planning done, and we have all the things, and you take it off, and then you're yeah, she forgets. To put it so back. I wanted to to make people think I already dyed my beard, but now when I put it on, I just sound like I, I sound like Hannibal Lecter. He with some does, fava beans and a nice Chianti. Hey, Janice, thank you so much for following him. Janice is an amazing, awesome quilter that I know um, awesome. through the stuff. Janice, you're going to learn so much about coding yes. and everything. So for my people, the reason why I love Fritz so much and I hang out in his channel, and I don't know why, but he made me a mod the other day. I did. But It was the right thing to do. 
Oh my God. It's, um, <laughs> it's, he, I know nothing about Shame. Coke, but I'm able to follow Shame. along with what he's doing, even if I don't understand how he's doing it. So yes. the people that watch me and my channel, whenever I'm quilting, imagine the same thing for code and for development and stuff. That That's what Fritz does. And it's amazing. I do look like Bane. It's a new world order. No, no. Okay. <laughs> right. It was going to be a whole reveal. Ha, I didn't dye my beard yet. <laughs> So, oh, and guys, by the way, he's going to a big Microsoft meeting this week with like Several. all of like the the big name, high name people, like the important people at Microsoft. I am. I'm going for a little bit there. There's, and I'm going to I'm going to be in our studios, uh, out in Seattle, uh, for my Thursday stream and also for my Friday stream. So if we hit that goal here. Mm -hmm. Before he's Thursday, have his when he's meeting with them. <laughs> it's going to be hysterical. They've, I, my teams are already planning and and expecting to have some fun with this, and that's yeah, fine. I fun. I am totally up for this. It's going to so. be awesome. So, Janice, you had a question. No, you do not need to use have use code to use Shopify. Everything yes. I've done so far with my site, everything you see there, none of it is with code. I did all of that myself. It's super easy to do, and then now he's going to make it look even cooler with the code. Right. We're going to do just a couple changes here to to improve, but the mm -hmm. from from my side, where a lot of the folks that are sitting in my chat room that are watching over here, we right, we're used to seeing things like WordPress, where you do have this very template driven type of interface that that really does enable folks who aren't professional developers who aren't engineers like Will Tony to be able to build something that looks pretty good here and is a great it's a great website by itself but as soon as you want to get outside the box and you want to customize you want to do that thing that it doesn't support and the first thing we're going to focus on is getting twitch in here in this area on the sidebar well now right for for the for the muggles, for the non-technical folks, they're stuck. What do we do? And that's where we're going to jump in here and have some fun. Uh, right, only so 24 while short. You, yeah. While you start with that, I'm going to mute myself because I have three giveaways now I have to do on my channel. Okay. So I'm going to do those giveaways, and then I'm going to talk on my channel about the, the general how I set the base up and how I set these products already in there. Um, and then I'm actually going to do a test a test run. So I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to keep you in here. Feel free to, uh, yep. to keep so, talking over me uh, there, whatever. And what I want my folks to know is if you're watching on Cadgar, right, that's the dual stream. You saw the link from Nightbot there. You're in Quill Tony's stream. You're eligible to win prizes and things that she's going to be giving away there. If you hang out and you and you participate, you could you could win a pattern that you can download for for a friend who might be interested in quilting. You can you can win bits. You can win pixels. You're even going to be awarded these things. And if you trade them in after you get a bunch of them, she'll make and send you bags like this. Uh, the green screen's affecting it. That's better, right? And I've got my microphone in this so I can take it and do whatever. But make sure you, you join in over there. Use the Cadgar link so you can watch both sides. So she's muted over there on her side so we can start to play with some of our sound effects and things. I love it. So, when plan Prince, comes I just unmuted together. myself. Um, somebody yeah. said I'm much quieter than you are. Um, to, it, on my str on my end, it may be just on my end. You know what? Let me up the things on my mic. There we go. Is that... Is that better? Are we about the same? Doesn't. Oh, well, you can barely hear me. Let's bring down this desktop audio then. Here we go. How is that, How's guys? That? One, two, three, four, is... five. Yeah, I think it's because your mic is so much closer. Oh, hey, Junie made us a song. She says, do you want Microsoft to see his ra rainbow beard? Oh, do you want to Lord. see him have fun? Do you, wait, you know you want to see him be a bit wacky and fun. He, wait, <laughs> what song is that? That's not, do you want to build a snowman? That's what you normally do. Mm. That's better? Okay, fantastic. Yeah, let's lower him just a touch more. There we go. Should be nice. Better? Hello? There One, we, two, three, four. Uh, there we are. We no, going? no, no. I'm lowering it in um, on my OBS. In OBS? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just I'm making just sure they can you. still hear me. All right. Yeah. Oh, no, they can. It's not you. It's it's me on my end. Okay. We got my desktop audio all the way up. Yeah, so uh, giveaway is up. So if anyone, you got to have to say something in my chat. You can say it on Cadgar. You can say it in here, whatever. And guys, I want to remember... 
whenever you do the exclamation duel, you can see the Cadgar link. If you do Cadgar, yes. make sure you don't mute one of the streams. Um, whatever stream you want to listen to, have the volume all the way up. The other one, bring the volume almost all the way down, and that way both streams get the view. Yep, there you go. All righty. All right, going away again. Okay. And so... I'm logged in and using the Shopify editor here. This is Brave Cobra is asking which um, what engine is driving this this web shop. Well, if I go down to theme actions here, I can choose edit code and take a peek behind the scenes here, and it looks like right. This looks like dot liquid. So I don't. I'm not familiar with this templating, but I know enough HTML and CSS that I can get here, get in here, and start tuning and having a. Uh, a productive time improving this. Frank says, "Didn't know du dual stream was possible." That's awesome. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun here. This is um, th there's other ways that you're going to be able to do this with something they call stream squads on Twitch. Um, Orchard Core uses Liquid. Fantastic. I'm not familiar with it, but I think we can figure out and do enough here so that we add and improve this a little and uh, make it. Make it a little bit more interesting. Um, Editors, I love code. Good morning. So, yeah, we are so close to my rainbow beard goal, and it's going to be hysterical when we get to Channel 9 next week. All right. Um, I'm not going to play any music in the background just because I want to make sure that, that we can hear each other and, and we can hear Tony. It's illegal in nine countries. It is illegal in nine countries. We need to make sure that... Uh, but Canada, where Tony is, everything's okay. It's good there. Um, oh, she's running the giveaway over there on her side. Um, I want to win something. Okay. Um, let me see. Scroll down here. So when we look at her website over here, right, we want to add into this section down here. We want to add something. Oh, I missed it. And I, I will keep it up if you want to go and pop it in between the giveaways. No, no, that's okay. I'm being funny. Um, listening to two streams at once is fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Frank just won something over on uh, on Quiltoni's stream. Fantastic. Look at that. Um, so I want to edit this area down here. Inside this simple editor that they have, I'm going to jump back into... Well, no, I wanted to see the full thing. Darn it. It pops open a new window. Good. Um, so for this area over here, I was looking at this the other day. I believe it's actually... I believe it's a section... And it's, I think it's sidebar. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So check this out. There's, as a HTML developer, I look at this and I see things like these um, curly bar percent. And I don't know their templating language, but I see this and it, it tells me this is where the template is injecting. This is where it's going to make a change inside of this. Look at that. Brave Cobra's got the help page for us. Fantastic. Editing theme code, building themes, liquid reference. So if I click into edit, tutorials, blah, 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 blah. I want to go into navigation. Before you edit your theme code, check the settings, duplicate your theme to create a backup copy. I'm actually going to copy out onto Notepad. Um, but if I wanted to add external links in a new tab. Eh, here we go. We want to add some JavaScript, that kind of thing. Yes, that's what we're... The kind of thing that we're going to modify. So, oh my gosh, Bud Lab and Noah eighty six, Kid is home, Kitty's Homestead, Janice. Thank you so much, everybody, for the follows. We are we are closing in quickly. Let me see, is that number going to refresh for me here? It was forty nine seventy six. I'm expecting it to get a little bit higher there, but no. Trying to learn. We're, we're going to learn a little bit here. Absolutely. So, um, this is just adding some content to the end of the file. And that's really what we're going to do here. If I scroll down, there's login. Here's Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, Tumblr, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And these are all LIs, right? Those are These are the bulleted list, but they took the bullets off of it so that it, um, so that it, it right, it just appears side by side right here. Well, I want to add maybe in a row right beneath it, live on Twitch or watch me on Twitch. And I think that that should be an image. What do you think if I wanted to show this? Um, 
And there we go. We have another winner on on Quill Tony's side because she's she's raffling away the virtual currencies that she does. Um, and Fritz, um, yes. I'm going. So I'm going to remute myself. I'm going to start talking business stuff on my side with all the layout stuff. If you can mute your um, your mic in Discord only, of course. Sure. And then if you need me, if any questions, concerns, just unmute yourself, and I'll do the same. Sounds good. All right, muting now. Now she can't hear us. <laughs> People know me. And we're going to start making changes here. All right, so um, I feel like adding as a separate row down here. So looking at this, right, there's a div and then there's an HR here. Um, okay. Right, so that feels weird. Right, so LIs, UL. So maybe if I put something down here, which logo here and I save, right? Asset saved. Come back over here, refresh. And I'm right, since I'm editing HTML CSS, I don't have to recompile or anything, so I should be able to just do quick refreshes and see what it looks like. Fantastic. That's what I want it to look like. Uh, who will be the 5,000th? What will the 5,000th follower get? My undying love. <laughs> um, I have some some stickers and things we might be able to do something i might be able to mail something out do you have to do it live or is there a way to get a qa or dev environment good questions um i don't know i i'm not familiar with that maybe through streambadge.com let's see what that looks like from brave cobra select your streaming service enter your service name so i'm going to type it stopped responding why won't it let me type? I didn't select a service. Uh, select a theme. Dark. I like dark theme. C sharp Fritz. And it gives me an iframe here. Preview. So that's not bad. If I change it to light. Preview. That's not bad either. But um, Or an HTML image. Let's see what that looks like. Offline. That's pretty crappy. Uh, BB code, right? It should say live, but it's in right. It's an image that's coming out here, and right, the iframe is loading from over here. So you're going to run into some navigation um, funniness that might happen there. And you like my hat better, says Bokyo. A Fritz hat. I don't have a Fritz hat. Um. I need to work on that though. I do have my C sharp hat, but I don't my super C sharp hat. But I that was a one off. I actually had to have that stitched up and made. Um, and for those of you that are watching in our normal Quiltoni viewers, um, I have a, a a C sharp logo hat that I our friend Fierce Kittens designed, and I took it to my local embroidery shop and stitched it together. It's it's going to become a thing. I need to find a good embroiderer. Embroiderer, embroiderer, yeah, something like that. Um, that will do it for me. So if I make this Quiltoni here and preview, so that's not bad. It's also not great, right? Um, let me copy this. Let's let's show her what that looks like. Let's show Quiltoni what that looks like, and then. I think we can take some other steps and make this look a little bit a little bit cooler. So I'm going to click save here, asset saved. And if I refresh the website, right, it should drop that in. Hopefully it doesn't screw up the layout. Ah, look at this. Blah 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 blah. So what's happened here if I if I know what's going on, I'm willing to bet we've hit a we've hit a cores issue. Right, The origin of StreamBadge.com has configured their website improperly. To protect your information from being stolen, Firefox has not connected to this website. Right. So it's using an iframe, right? It's an embedded frame. It's actually showing that other web page inside of this. Now, in order to block and ensure that you don't inadvertently see something that looks like your bank or something where someone's going to do some cross-site scripting and hijack your text as you're keying it in, that iframe isn't going to work. It's browsers are getting smart about this and they don't want you to get wrapped up in it. 
Um, so let's try what the HTML image looks like and see what that... And, and this looks like a nice service. Once again, for somebody like Quiltoni, who's not technical, who doesn't know how to write HTML and isn't familiar with some of the things that, that, uh, that we as developers can do to enhance websites, this might be a very serviceable solution, but I think we can do even better. Um, so now it's not showing the image. That's interesting. Now, why isn't it showing the image? If I inspect and click through here, I'm using the developer tools that come with Firefox. I just hit F12. There's developer tools, of course, in Edge and Chrome. Um, but this should be showing image source, stream badge, twitch, light, quiltoni.com. But it's not showing the image. Why not? Hey, Chris Jones. Um, it's not showing this for some reason, which is weird. I'm going to control F5 and see if I can force that to load. And then. Right? Right? And then. It's not there. So something's blocking this from loading. Hey, Fierce Kittens. Speak of, speak of the Fierce Kittens, and here she is. Good morning. Um, so this isn't loading either for some reason. And then? We're going to have to try another technique. So while the stream badges here sure do look nice, right? And that's Markdown. Markdown's not going to work for us. I think we're going to need to do something a little bit different. Right, we're going to get cross-domain issues, as Brave Cobra is pointing out, because... Wait, Master. It might be dangerous. It might be dangerous. But does Fierce Kittens use Shopify? So, Tony's actually on the Cadgar. So, we're doing a dual stream. You can watch both. And we're turning up our audio when, when it's time for us to collaborate back and forth. You use Squarespace, so you can do you can do something similar. Make sure you're using HTTPS on the image URL. Oh, look at that! Good catch. Uh, who wrote that? Digital Sparky. You're right. You're right. Let me go back in here. Let me change this to HTTPS on the image URL. It should always be HTTPS. That makes me sad that Stream Badge didn't by default give me HTTPS. Let's see if it loads. Uh, control F5. You can see it down here in the corner, the hot keys I'm hitting. No, that doesn't load. Um, let's see here. I wonder if that image loads at all. Yeah. So they don't have... Right? They don't have HTTPS secure socket set up for stream badge, it looks like. And now they feel shame. Not only that, but, I mean, look, it's, it's giving me offline for that. Yeah, and HTTPS doesn't work, so they so they suck, says Digital Sparky. I wouldn't go quite that far. Shame. I might do this. Shame. 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 Okay, um, that's enough of her, because she gets annoying. Um, so we can't do that either, but we can... Getting a little bit creative here. We can do something that's a little bit more interesting. Time to write an Azure function, says SQL Mr. Magoo. I think we can go even simpler. Here's what I'm thinking. It's 2019. You, you don't, if you don't have SSL, then you fail at the internet, says Digital Sparky. I'm kind of agreeing with you. Our friend um, uh, Troy Hunt talks about how SSL is so accessible. Transport layer security. It's, it's important that we start using this because there are all kinds of ways that folks are hijacking and getting into our data as we're just navigating around the web. So let's prevent some of those man-in-the-middle attacks. The browsers help us with this. Let's do something that's a little bit more secure. Uh, looks like Brave Cobra has a pretty good button or an item here. Yes, this is kind of the direction I was looking at going. Not bad at all. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I was actually going to write a little bit of JavaScript and embed it directly in here, but this looks even easier. So, um, then create image tags on your web page to display if a channel is online or offline. Image, data, Twitch, channel. I love this. Um, let's take a look here. 
So this is Twitch channel status JavaScript, and this is using jQuery, right? So uh, not too bad, right? I mean, it's a little bit older technology, but nobody's going to get upset about this. Um, so SVG and XML, look at that. Circle to indicate whether you're online or not. Refresh Twitch channel statuses. Look at the channels. Okay, but where's it bringing in? This is what I wanted to write. I wanted to write a little thing that runs out to the Twitch API. So if you go to this location, you can actually see here's the current state of the channel. And I don't see them actually passing a client ID in here. All right. Nice. Okay. It just displays a green or red circle. Well, that's... That's... I think we can do more. I think we can do better. Um, so the image used if a channel is online, it's a green circle or it's a red circle. I think we can put together a little bit of an image using the Twitch logo and maybe some text to say, join Quiltoni for, for today's quilting adventure or something like that and put that in there. But the logic to get the online status is here. Fantastic. Good find, Brave Cobra. Good find. Uh... Let's uh, So let's dig in. Let's grab this JavaScript, right? We don't even have to grab the JavaScript. We can grab the script tags and copy that into the layout of the page so that it's always there. So I'm going to remove this Twitch status here just so I know where I'm coming back to. And then I'm going to go over to the... Um, I don't think it's the header... Um, but I want to find the complete page layout so I can identify where I'm going to jump in and and put that um, put that JavaScript. See, index is kind of a misnomer. That's not where it is. It is... Hmm. It's got to be here somewhere, right? Page? Is it under page? No, that feels stupid. Page.content. Thanks so much. Um... <laughs> No. Snippets. So these are all icons and things. We'll end up uploading some things into here for images, perhaps. Configuration, assets. So there's our CSS, our, some of our JavaScript. There's jQuery being loaded. So we know jQuery is on the page somewhere. Um, is it theme? Ah, there we go. All right, now we're talking. So there, it's there's where it's putting the script for jQuery. Um, no, Robert tables don't be livid. You can detect that element status and enrich it via JavaScript. Yes. Wouldn't this be a fun project to do th this usage of the Twitch API in Blazor? Yes, it absolutely would. However, uh, and, and that might be an awesome th widget for us to consider building on another stream or maybe, yeah, on another stream. But for getting this running and embedding it inside of this, I think we can... Just drop in a little bit of a uh, little bit of JavaScript reference here. Uh, Jeremy, thanks so much for for joining us. Thank you for the follow. Forty nine is that going to be forty nine seventy nine or forty nine eighty? I think it's forty nine seventy nine. Thank you so much for that. Um, that stream badge thing is probably run by some dude in a basement. Says fierce kittens. Um, I think you're right. I think you're right. But. Um, it can be done exactly how I want it. It can be. The only question is, are you the man to do it? Darn skippy we are. Here we go. Uh, let's see. What is the return code from the request for the image? It's Yeah, we're hitting the SSL issue. Um, it's free to run with Let's Encrypt. And I actually use Let's Encrypt for my blog um, and for a couple other services that I help run. Um, but it's real easy to get Let's Encrypt installed and running. Um, dudes in basements can't really afford SSL and such is all I was getting at. Actually, Fierce Kittens, SSL, like folks were saying, you can you can start using for free using Let's Encrypt. So check this out. Free automated and open certificate authority. So anybody can get SSL on their website. I've even got it on my blog. So if you go jeffreyfritz.com, I have the green padlock because I have Let's Encrypt installed. 
So really cool stuff. Since you're a real engineer and don't really do web. Come on now. All right. Um, so let's, we've already got jQuery 111.1 1 in here. It's actually 111.0. The minor version shouldn't be that big a deal. But I'm going to copy this second script tag that's pulling it directly out of his GitHub. Now, it's specifically going to this version with this hash. I want to double check and make sure that they don't pull a fast one on us here. That should be over here. And if I look at that hash, it's Fox Charlie Fox is this version. And what it's suggesting we use is coming out of one dog seven. So let's take a look at exactly that JavaScript. I'm going to copy that, paste it into a new window here, just to make sure it's not pulling a fast one. I don't want it to, to swap things out. Uh, you do C sharp, Q sharp, and C++. Okay, I didn't realize folks were doing Q sharp. You're one of the lucky 10,000 today. <laughs> um, they use raw git for that URL and raw git stopped their service right so maybe maybe even though we want twitch channel status min let's do this I'm going to click through I'm going to click raw here and I get raw dot git github user content and it's still in the master branch I want the fixed version for this commit so I'm going to click in into this specific commit um, not license, not the readme, not the full JavaScript. I want the minified one. And, right, I want that file. I should be able to get to the raw version of that, right? Mm -hmm. There's the commit, browse files. There we go. Now I'm on... Right now, I'm on that branch. I'm on that commit inside the tree. And if I go back into the minified version and click raw, now I've got the minified version running from GitHub. That's the one I want. Um, to, 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 so that URL will not work in the future. Let's, grip, let's Encrypt only gives you a, a certificate to do SSL, not for signing documents. Right. It's only to do HTTPS. So we're actually running into an issue, and I'm trying to help Fierce Kittens out with this. Um, she builds this great uh, add-in that you see. Actually, Quiltoni's using it on the other stream, the other channel. It's on that side. Um, called GIFBot. And it's, it's something that she's written and um, doesn't have a certificate to sign the resultant exe. So whenever you install it, you get that warning that pops up, this is not assigned executable. So we need to figure out an, an open source way, a way for the community to be able to say, well, this is a piece of freeware. This is something that we're giving away and anybody can use. We want folks to be able to sign it, to be able to work with it. Um, to, 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 to. I'd be inclined to host the script on a web host controlled by the owner of the client site that it was looking to integrate with. Have you read and understood the whole script? Are you safe? It is. It, are you sure it is safe to use on a shop site? Um, and I think you're right. We probably should copy that out and put it on a different. Um, let's take a quick look at the code. That's fine. So, function A, function B. Right. This is document current script up at the top. I don't see anything here that looks. Yeah. Nothing here looks significantly out of order. That's fine. Let me scroll over back over to the left. Come on. Thank you. Uh, document dollar script, data attribute, data twitch channel, data interval, online image. I'm not going to use that. Offline image. We're going to replace these. Uh, ref refresh twitch channel statuses. Take in some channels. Da, 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 and it's just going to show the online image. Set a timeout every second to refresh statuses, and here's where it asks for it. So I think we're okay here. Um, I appreciate the security alert, Mr. Magoo, but I think we're okay. Internet is not fast enough by 1080p. It should, you should be scaled down. 
We should be able to... Oh, no, we didn't get the transcoder today. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I am I am not a partner streamer. I'm an affiliate streamer, so I don't always get the transcoding. No problems using the open source script. Just need to bring that usage under our terms, especially in an e-commerce solution. Well, well played. Uh, good point there, Simon. You're right. Very good point. Um, so... I think you're right. We should copy down and have this script available locally and and copy this into. So let's see. I want to let me do raw and then I can save this. Um, that's fine. I'll put it right on my desktop because I put everything on my desk. Oh, no, I closed the website. Um, Control shift T opens the last one. Yes, I remembered that. Okay, so I have this file. I want to make it available on on Quiltoni's site. So there was a way to upload files here somewhere. Um, it's not sections. It's not snippets. Here we go. Add a new asset. I'm going to browse. Look at all the crap on my desktop. Twitch channel status min. There we go. Upload that. So there it is. There's the JavaScript. So now I should be able to do the same thing here, except call it Twitch. Right? Twitch dash channel dash status. And just saving that, it should start loading then over here. Right? Some of my affiliates, affiliate mates tend to restart their stream if they don't have transcodes because it's assigned randomly for affiliate. Why don't you fork it on GitHub and include this fork? Um, I don't mind forking it so I have a copy of it. But it's the same thing. It's um, It'll still be there. right? So I've got my copy. It's in my fork. It's available for me. To, to use here. Um, we've got about 113 folks over here. And you know what? Quiltoni's only got about 70 on her side. 65 over there. If five more people watch over there, she's going to run a giveaway. So check out the, the Cadgar. I'm going to cross-promote her right now. Check out the, the Cadgar link so you can see both channels at once. You can see what she's working on. She's actually configuring some of the payment stuff coming out of there. So if you want to turn her up or you want to keep her down a little bit. But let's see if we can get her a couple more viewers as well. That's why there's no lower video quality. Only 1080p. It's always... Well, I go to 1080p because in writing code, we want to fit more on screen. And I want to make sure that you can see what we're writing. Um... So check the network tab to see if it loads properly. Great point, Brave Cobra. Um, so coming back over here to the page, right? It still says just Twitch status here. I'm going to go over to the network tab, right? This shows me all the um, add-ins and things that we've added. So if I look down here, I'm looking for that Twitch status item here. And here's all the different things, the images here, Bob Ross, right? Um, um, I'm looking for JavaScript. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to sort by type and go find JavaScript. So there's jQuery index, Trekkie admin storefront, express buttons, features. Da, 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 da. Come on, show me that. I'm looking for Twitch channel status min. It loaded correctly. Good catch, Brave Cobra. You're right. So now we can add the image tag and get it to just display that little circle, and then we'll tune it a little bit and make it uh, make it even cooler. So we should be able to just do this. Image data channel, and have it just pop up and show cool little circle there. Uh, so this is on the theme. Let me go back to the sidebar. And if we just paste in that, and instead of it being Riot Games, we make it Cool Tony. Save. Asset saved. Refresh over here. I'll hide the um, developer tools so we can see that. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And there we go. All right. We've got a red button that shows that she's live. But that's lame. Yes. Let's replace the image. 
Um, fun things is you're both looking at the same page for different reasons right now, right? Exactly. This is right as a developer. I've I've got my requirements from her. She's off working somewhere else in the application. I'm focused and I'm writing the code and, and making my changes right here and not impacting her. Simon says, uh, this is what interests me about the stream topic today. How one works as a developer in that no man's land between WYSIWYG CMS. WYSIWYG. That's what you see is what you get. Uh, hosting like Shopify or Wix or the like on one side and say a fully custom site say an azure web app on the other side and there's a tricky gap between the two yes there is um it's unwatchable oh i'm sorry no content um online should give a green one ah all right let's look back at the code maybe we're getting the wrong twitch channel status eh, that's the minified let's come back up here so when this is fetching, let's see here. Console.warn, if it can't find it, we should be getting an entry on the console. So let's reload and uh, console. Thank you. Um, <laughs> content security policy on that. The, this page's settings block the loading of a resource. So that's interesting. Okay. Uh, what happened here? Oh my gosh. Um, Juni Von Esch, one of our viewers, <laughs> just wrote, just tweeted us here. Loading failed for the script with source. Here we go. Look at this. So this is kind of, this is unfortunately what I was worried about. So this is calling into the Kraken API. And right, this is a version of the Twitch API and it's saying, oh, we don't have content for you. If I actually navigate there, bad request, no client ID specified. Um, you actually need to tell Twitch, here's my client ID in order for it to allow you to present some of this data. And now we feel bad. So what do we do? Does Shopify provide CDN hosting for the JavaScript? I don't know. That's a good question. I need a client ID from devtwitch.tv. Yes. So I can provide a client ID. I can create one right under my ID that I'm passing over to her. So I'm going to go... I don't want to go into account settings. I want to go to my dashboard. Two extensions. How many apps, games, drops? I'm going to... Um, I think I'm creating an app is what I'm doing. So I've got a couple things here that I've been tinkering with. Register a new application. Um, <laughs> yeah, here we go. So the name is going to be, we'll call this Coltoni's blog, the redirect. Um, I can set this to localhost. That's fine, I'll do that. Category, uh, this is a website integration. Create that. There's Coltoni's blog. If I click manage, there's my client ID. And the client ID is not secret. It's safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Now, I should be able to go back and edit that JavaScript now. I've got to edit JavaScript on the open Visual Studio Co. code. This ju just became complicated. How do we securely store a secret? It's not a secret. This is, right, this is um, something that we can use, right? The client ID isn't secret. It's, it's actually something we should be able to, to do, and it should be configurable. Yes! I like where you're thinking, Stelzy. So let's open that file, and I put it on my desktop like a putz. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Twitch channel status. And I'm going to want to push this back. I don't want to just work with it on my desktop. Um, now I'm glad I forked this. Who was it who said fork this earlier? Let's, let's clone this. And let's open a browser, uh, open a command prompt. One of those things, right? Uh, get clone that doodad. Okay. Um, and we're in Twitch channel status. Let's open that folder. Let's enhance this and make it cool. C dev Twitch channel status. We're going to make this easy. So is it like the public part of a key pair? Is that the idea? Yes, hey, Simon. Yes. I'm muted still. 
Hello. Yes. Hey. Uh, my store works. And I just did a test. Yeah. You can purchase things. Yeah. It is up and running. It actually works. Okay. So know, if you look under the sidebar, you see there's a red circle there. We found a library that's going to help us put the Twitch status there, but it only outputs a, a default circle there, and it's not hitting the end point. It's not hitting Ooh. Twitch properly. We need to give it a client ID. So we're actually adding that capability right now. Nice. That is fantastic. So. <gasps> oh, it's a red light. Look at the red light. It doesn't do anything yet. We're getting there. We're getting okay, there. Okay, wait, but there's something there. It's That's coming. Awesome. Absolutely. Uh, and, and we also just hit the 70 watch your mark, so I'm doing another giveaway. So I want to pop over Fantastic. and just let you know. That way you can come and say something right now in my chat so you can win something. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm muting myself again. All righty. Um, yes, Brave Cobra. I actually was looking at that. Right. Don't forget to mute yourself. Oh, fine. I'll mute myself. I tell you. Now I'm muted. Um, right, so you can pass the client ID on the URL. That's easy. Um, right, so all I have to do now is go back over to here. So I'm going to receive the client ID from me, data Twitch client ID tag. And down here in the URL, channel limit. Um, I'm going to add that. Right here, client underscore ID. So all you have to do is head over to Quill Tony's stream and you can actually type type anything in the chat. Give her drop a Fritz chatbot over there. And then you can get stuff. Yes, that was the th Windows 3.1. Ta-da. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to add into this. Right? I'm not going to do the interpolation thing. I'm just going to pop it right on here. Client ID. Client ID. There it is. So now that should put the client ID on here. Do I need to put user login? I don't have to put user login. It's channel. That should work, right? Right? I think that works. Um, now, how am I going to minify this from here? Can I just right-click and minify? No. I'd love if I could do that. And I need to push my version of the script. Yes. Is there a plugin for this? Now, I want over here, I want to be able to automatically minify JavaScript. Yes. Minify with command and optionally reminify on save. Fantastic. So I'm going to reminify. We'll push it up and we'll give it a try and see that. Yeah, found the plugin. Woohoo! -hoo. Reload. All right. So let's see if this works. Um. So I'm going to control shift P and let's see, I'm going to type minify. Did it do something? Initializing JavaScript TypeScript features and it says modified. So it sure looks like it punched it over here. There's the client ID. Terrific. All right, so now let me go back over to editing over here. Assets where I uploaded that. I'm going to add and hopefully overwrite it. Um, and I need to get that from my Twitch channel status folder. Uh, replace the existing. That's kind of nice. I need to provide a Twitch client ID here. So that was data, Twitch. And what did I finish naming that? I named it client, tw data Twitch dash client ID. Um, equals dummy Jeff. Dummy, what the heck? Come on, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I do. I do. And the code that we're writing. I'm going to paste that in there. So there's our client ID. Save. Now let's see if it gets it properly. Let's refresh over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Loading failed for the script. Client ID equals undefined. And now I feel shame. Damn. I thought I provided that. Right? Um, hmm. Why isn't it picking up the client ID, right? Data dash twitch dash client ID. 
Should have picked that up. Right? I thought I... Didn't I key that in properly? Data-twitch-client-id. Uh, get rid of that extra quote. I think that's right, right? Why did it... Uh, oh, I put client capital I... It's all lowercase here, right? And it comes out as client ID like that. No, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, still no workies. I know. Right? Um, let's see. What can we... What? What's the next step here? Cash busting issue. No. No, it's not... The The, the client ID, I, th I, I thought it was there. Let's see. Data dash twitch dash client ID. It's there on the tag. So I've got it. Did I remove the old code? Yes, I did. Yes. Um so why isn't it why isn't it getting that client ID? Right? I'm in <gasps> Wait a sec. No, no, this so Right, client ID should be fetched, right? I should be able to come down here and on the console, I should be able to actually access client ID. Ooh, wait a sec. Oh no, it's inside this closure. That's okay, right? It should still be there, right? So what am I missing? Um, <laughs> right, if I do console log Client ID and uh, no, no. Right, I should have it. Right? This, this should be easy, right? So replaced, it's up there. Refresh over here and I should see it pop out in the log. Da, 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 da. Okay, it didn't log that. Why? I'm control f 5 You think client ID should be passed as a header? Actually, um, that's not what it said. But I'm not getting that client ID popping out anyway. Even though I wrote it into console log here. Um, why? Right, it should have picked that up right after this. Hmm. I agree, I thought it was supposed to be passed as a header as well, however... Right, if I go back over here and we look at this. Paste that in there. Grab the client ID. Replace this undefined with the client ID. It works. Right? So we've almost got it. It's just for some reason, right, it's not making that jump. It's a get query for that one. Yeah, okay. Why isn't it coming out? I mean, I could hard code the thing and then just be done with it, but I don't want to hard code it. Motaz, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. The countdown is on. We are 20 followers there. Can you get any console at all? Console log at all? Oh, excuse me. Uh, well, wait a sec. Um... <laughs> Console.log, Fritz was here, right? That should have just minified, right? Da, 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 da. Why isn't it? 
Did it? Did the Minify remove the console log? They did. The Minify removed the console logs. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's a pain. I get why they do that. Let me upload then the raw file. And we'll change we'll change the page so that it loads right the full the full file. Mrs. Mad Ronan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. Uh, don't get mad at me, okay? What'd you do? Yeah. Well, we're we're going to break things. That's what we're going to do. Let's reload here. In the console, there it is. Clan ID undefined. Weird, but now I've got it. You promise you won't get mad at me. Thank you, Mrs. Madron, and I appreciate that. Just keep an eye on that Quiltoni character over there. Make sure she's not, she's not, you know, goofing off. Now she's always goofing off. You can do it. She's always goofing off. Um. All right. So why am I not? You have your eye on her too. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. Um, because as you, you might know, it's illegal in nine countries. It is. Quiltoni's illegal in nine countries. 19 to go. And then we're going to die here. Angry Valhund. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. 18. Oh boy. All right. So client ID for some reason isn't coming in, even though we're going after Twitch client ID. Why is that? Oh, wait a sec. Do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? Yeah, that's on the script. We need to be going this attribute. Right? Am I right here? Right. Um, dollar this dot atra to get that. So that it pulls in off the... If there's no image set already, this is where I need to get it. Is down here. All right. Let me change this back to... Which... I don't know if that's what I really want, but I'm going to put it there anyway. And then I'm going to come down here and say, I want to do this exact same thing here. If there's no image set already, def uh, well, I need to get the client ID. So we'll make this data, Twitch, client ID. If there isn't one, Right? I'm looking at the wrong... I was looking at the wrong element. Now I'm going to be looking at the image element. Channel name to images based on the channel status. Uh, yeah. Right? So this is looking at each one of them and it's finding the channel. Channels channel push. So I want to make... Right? I want to say... Um, Actually, I want this to be, if there is one, then client ID equals that. Right? That should grab it now. Browse. Get that one. Right? Now we should have the correct one. Da, 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 da. Client ID data twitch. It didn't. Well, actually, now it's green. We got it. We got our status. <laughs> All right. Next step. You can do it. Let's replace this. Instead of having just a green or red circle, let's actually replace it with something that's a little bit more compelling. Let's actually see if we can put together a quick image here using the data online image and data offline image that looks like 
Um, and I'm going to minify this in the meantime. Uh, unexpected character. Well, I can get rid of these. Minified. Fantastic. Um, so let's see if we can put together just a quick image using the Twitch logo that, uh, that looks cool. Yeah. Um, and kind of encourages people to come over there. So I'm going to search on DuckDuckGo with the bang image hint. And I'm going to look for the Twitch logo. So we've got all kinds of instances of the Twitch logo. I like the purple. I really do. Let's grab one like this, and Twitch will start selling video games you're watching. Nice. Rune Wolf, thank you for the follow. We're getting closer. Um, what do you think of the one with the... Uh, you can use Font Awesome. That has a Twitch logo. That's not bad either. That's not bad. Thanks for joining us, Rune Wolf. Um, means you don't have to use an image. Um, okay. Do we have Font Awesome available to us? I don't think we do. No, it's not in the list of assets. Hmm... Hang on, let's let's let her know we got the green red dot working. Hey, cool Tony. Can hey, you, Fritz. Um, so we've got we've got a simple red green dot that's appearing on the page, <gasps> depending on whether you're live. It appears underneath, but it it doesn't click through yet to Twitch, and it doesn't have the Twitch logo there. So we're going to replace that that little green dot with an image that looks a little bit looks a little bit better to kind of encourage folks to click more through. More better? More gooder. More gooder. It's going to be more gooder. Okay. That's, that's right. And we're going to get that hooked up. I think we. some folks are saying we might do that with a font, but I think we want to do a cool image here that says yeah. now live on, uh, you know, now live on Twitch or, yeah. or uh, now quilting on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Now live, because sometimes okay. I'm at conventions. Because remember, I do all the convention bingo stuff when I'm out and about. Mm. So, yeah. So, go go now, now live. live. Okay. Yeah. And then if it's not now live and it's um, follow me on Twitch. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I all like right. that. So, we'll, we'll create two little images that do that. And uh, folks in my chat room, they're, they want me to test to make sure it works by changing and make sure that it doesn't work for somebody else's stream. So, okay, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So we're going to test a couple things and put together those two images, upload them so it swaps appropriately. That's awesome. And I just finished um, making a test page. I'm about to go live and show how to link it to your main um, menu, okay. to your menu stuff, so that th everyone's going to be able to see. There's going to be a whole new menu on the left as you're playing with that that's going to say test. Okay. <laughs> and So people can click on that and go, oh, hey, look, what is this thing? Okay. And I think... Um, I think there was one other page that we had talked about I, we should be able to get to once we finish this little bit with the image. Okay. What was that? I don't remember. We were actually talking about embedding Twitch on your, no. your page. No, we, don't we, do it. We, we said, remember, we talked about it and we said not to because we think it's going to have the stream be there all the time. And because oh, I had to have pleasure. a PG stream and sometimes I host people that are not PG. Okay. I was, I, I, it may not be the best thing. Okay. We so, will not do that then. We'll talk about else anything else we, we want to add. We did. We we're talking about that. Um, While you're thinking, I want to thank Crows4K for resubbing four months in a row. Thank you. We are nice. very close. We're, we are 17 away from my rainbow beard. Oh my God. 17 away. 17. Oh my God. That's awesome. Guys, if you haven't followed Fritz, please go and follow him right now. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. He's going to dye his beard rainbow. Rainbow colored. It's like coming. Permanent dye. No, not, not permanent. Like... Not permanent. No, not permanent. Not well, permanently well, forever. It'll grow out and it'll, you, and it'll um... fade. That's right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not permanently forever. But I mean, you're not just going to like put color in there and have it be there for like two hours until you wash it out. 
No, no, no. I think it'll be around for at least a day. I want to make sure that I can go visit with with my general manager, um, who who happens to be follically challenged up top. And uh, hi, John. How you doing? <laughs> that that'll go over. Follically really well. challenged. That's right. Um, uh, and, and I, I may have followed Fritz with my two bots already. Just just putting that out there. Yeah, we we. I think there. we saw that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. we're almost there. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Zener Alt. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. Look forward to seeing you in the chat room. Yeah, permanent <laughs> says Andre. Oh my gosh! Semi permanent. Um, yes, yeah, semi permanent, Rosalind. Yes. All right. I'm gonna mute and, right. and we're gonna plug in these last couple things here. Awesome. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. I've muted her. So we've got a code pen. What do we have in this code pen? Um, font awesome, colored brand, and social icons. And there is Twitch in there. L- let me bring this over. Um, so let's see. I see Skype, Facebook. I don't see. I don't see the Twitch glitch. Thank you for the follow. Who is this? Geist Wielder eighty four. Thank you for joining us. Jack D Frozen. Thank you as well for following us. I look forward to seeing both of you in the chat room and asking and answering your questions. Who is the guest? Our guest is Quill Tony. Um, it hopped over from uh, Quill Tony stream. Fantastic, guys. Um, so we're we're actually dual streaming. There's a link there, and thank you, Janescu, for sharing that. You can watch both streams at once. She's working on one side of of this website we're working on, and I'm working on the other, and uh, we're collaborating together and. I'm having a good time here trying to get through this and build some interesting things. Um, so is the Twitch glitch in here? 10 out of 10 on that. Thank you. I have the Overwatch. Right, If you play Overwatch, this is D.Va's logo. I figure since we're on with Quill Tony, we are better have a, a D.Va theme here. Dan Pete. Thank you for the follow. Man, I appreciate that sub train. You have that follower train. I really appreciate that. And who was it? Um, was it Acrophobic Pixie says your offline screen is up. Let me, uh, let's see. Bill Gates is not going to see the rainbow beard. No. Acrophobic Pixie, right? Do I have that spelled right? Acrophobic Pixie. So let's just test to make sure that since Acrophobic Pixie is not online and in our chat room, Let's make sure we get a red dot for that so that it is properly detecting. And it is. It's a red dot right there. Okay. So so we've done that little bit of, of unit testing here, right? Integration testing to make sure it is properly working. Tony says follow, so I follow. Well, thank you, Jack. Um, and look at the quilt emotes coming in here. Don't forget, folks. Jump. Yeah, I see crows jo- dropping a .NET bot over there on Cool Tony stream. <laughs> this is neat. I really enjoy this. Uh, it is there. The The Twitch logo is on Font Awesome. Look at that. And it's pink, too. Why pink? I mean, okay. Whatever. Um, start using this icon. So it means I'm going to need to bring in font awesome. And and I can change the color with CSS. Well, so if I use... Two Wolf, thank you so much for bringing a tier one sub here. I Wow, I really appreciate that. Um, here's what we're going to do. Um, and for other subs today, I haven't called it out. We're going to make a matching donation to Black Girls Code. And I even updated the panels uh, below me here on the channel. Uh, Black Girls Code helps um, helps girls, helps women, preteens in particular is who they, who they try to focus on. Um, but, but girls of color help them get an opportunity with technology and writing software. And I think that's something that's important for us to, to reach out and help those folks who don't have access to some of these resources that we do and, and give them an opportunity to join us in the field. So thanks so much for that. And uh, we're going to continue to support Black Girls Code all through the first quarter of 2019 with matching donations to for every sub and for every bit cheered. All right. Let me... Um, so if I'm going to use the, the Twitch logo here, doing some of what's uh, being shown here, 
there's a lot going on to to make this work to get that font awesome logo here um right i'm feeling like i would have to download or is there a way is there a hosted font awesome that we can use um i feel like i'm i'm crowding let me move this up a little bit i think that's better because i'm i'm kind of falling down into my nameplate it has a cdn ooh ooh that would be good if I can pull it off the CDN instead. Link rel style sheet. Fantastic. I think I just want the brands though. Do I need both? If I just say all, let me just grab all and put that style sheet into the page. No theme, I think was the top. Da, 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 da. So script. Oh my gosh. Is that Morilio Filo? Thank you so much for the sub with your Twitch Prime. Um, and we'll match that and make a, a make a donation to Black Girls Code this month. Thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us. Um, all right. Let's see what do we got here. Um, where do we want to add this? This is a link. I can add links up higher. Let me put it right after the theme right here. Ooh. Okay. So now that's in place. Um, <laughs> okay. Let me see. So to do... I'll back up here. Um, start using this icon. No. Right. So it's I class F fab F A dash Twitch is the logo. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to the doodad over here. So I should be able to just do that, right? And, I mean, I, I could add some styling to make the color around it, right? Right, if I want to have the colored background. Um, are those other icons using Font Awesome? Yes. Yes, they are. These are all using Font, font Awesome colored brand and social icons. But, um, right, this is within social icons, icon circle, set a border radius of 50%. We can do that. Oh, the, yes, the other ones are inline SVG. I'm sorry, the other one's on the screen. You're right. Thank you. Thank you, Smab. I appreciate you chiming in there. Um, let's start with, let's start with the anchor tag here. Um, ba, 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 here. And see, it's an image is what, is what the sidebar, right? It's, it's on an image tag here is why it's deciding to show or hide something. Digital Sparky has another code pen for us to look at. What do we got? Color and all. <gasps> nice. Okay. Um, okay, so that gets us, let's, let's talk this through. Uh, it would be much easier to do this if the CSS was already in the theme. Yes, it would be. It's not. We can add it. Um, but we're going to need to activate and deactivate it appropriately based on whether or not um right uh, right this isn't an image this is a piece of text so if i go back over to our our javascript right um where is it do 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 um here it is right it's determining whether to show right it sets the image source here um, honestly, I think it would be easier just to grab an image and make something real quick and upload it. The, the font awesome stuff is cool and I could certainly put a font awesome logo there to work with this, but I, it,
I still need, in, in order to use this structure, I need to show hide images. So I think putting together an image is going to be easier to do. What do we think, chat room? SVG here from Mr. Magoo. There we go. There we go. I'd love to put the two together. Right? Um, Twitch logos are always a single color. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yep, don't fill, don't recreate. Additional glitch guidelines. Oh, and they don't want it at the end. They always want it up at the top. In the screen download. Working on something to see. Yeah, right? So let me get... Let me get this one. Uh, show me what you got there. No, that's on a white background. I want the purple. Let's see. I have it opening over here on the side. Okay, so that's got the purple background. Maybe I do want the white. And then put it on a purple background. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to open paint.net. And let's see how much space we actually have on the side here. Right? This space right here. Isn't there a ruler? I thought there was a ruler in here, wasn't there? Uh, there we go. It is 220 wide, 220 pixels. So if I want to make it the whole width. So let's go image, canvas size. Let's make the width 220. Let's make the height. Um, 100. That's... No. 80. All right. I'm going to grab that PNG. No. Come on, where'd it go? Right, all right. Open the image. There we go. So it's got a transparent background. So let's do an image resize with this 200, and it's 67 high. Fantastic. I'm going to go back over to this. I have it 80 high. I think we want to make it a little bit taller. Maybe we make this um, 140. And we need to fill it with the appropriate purple background. Come on. Give me the color. I want a custom color. The... Guidelines for that Twitch was 165, 164. So 165, 64. That's not purple. Right? RGB, 165, 64. And the hex, 644, 1 alpha, alpha 4. Oh, it should have been 164. My bad. Um, all right, let me fill that. Fill this. And now I should be able to come over here. That is 67 high. Fantastic. I'm going to copy, paste that over on here. You're kidding. Put on a new layer. No. New layer. Paste. That's better. All right, so if I center that up, that's good. Oops. Right? 
Uh, the logic of the Twitch status is inside the image data logic. You may want to extract that later so you can use anywhere on the site. Okay. Maybe. So if we make this the online, right? What was the text that she wanted us to use? Um, now live. Let's now I could just... Now I, I need this inside the image. Um... <laughs> Let's make that a little bit bigger, make it bolder. Calibri's fine. Uh, now live on, if we just say now live, right? That's, right, we can move that over here. I feel like maybe we, if we turn this into an animated GIF with a red blinking light here, that might be neat too. But how do we do a red blinking light in paint.net? Hmm. Is the width a fixed pixel val value or a variable in the JavaScript? It's not. Yeah, yeah, a red circle in front of it. Yes, Delzy, I think that's it. Right, so if I start with that and we put the red circle here, right? But how do we make it blink? Right, if this was an animated GIF. I don't know how to do animated GIFs here. Um, you cannot do GIF in paint.net. <sighs> Fine. I will make a circle. And it will be glorious. Um, circle. Yeah. I'll create a new thing. So it's in a brand new... What do you think? Brave Cobra has another code pen for us. Let's take a look, see at what Brave Cobra has. Pulse disk, pulse circle. What did you put together here? It's not working for me. Do I have snag it? I think there's a way with that. Um. Nothing's so this is a couple of SVGs it looks like, but I'm not seeing anything in the content. Let me come back to you. The glorious red circle of life streaming on Twitch. <laughs> so right, I mean that's a a very simple way to do this. Oh, it doesn't work in Firefox. Yeah, that's really not gonna be a, a go here. Um, I can certainly open in Chrome. Right. That's very cool to show and do. Gifmaker.me. Yes. Can that do what I'm looking for? Um, hold down Control or Command. You can upload. So if I uploaded two images, one with the red and one without the red, We'd have it, right? What do you... Right, so if I... What do I need to upload here? Um, JPEG PNG. I'm going to save this as a PNG. And I'm going to put this in that same dev folder that I was working in. Twitch channel status. Um, let me save the raw paint.net file so that I can get back to the layers. Um, and let's make the first one here PNG and let's make this status live. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um, and if there's one that doesn't, right, so I'm going to undo and turn off that. Save. And I'll, this is status live. I did PNG. Uh, light off. Marin264, thank you for the follow. So flatten that. Good. All right. So now if I come back over here, oh, Frank, this might be a real good uh, find. Um, Twitch channel status. So if I upload both of these, 
to images. Drag the images to change the order. I think it's fine. Uh, canvas size, 220 by 140. Um, but th that looks great. That looks phenomenal. Don't forget to add all text to the image to allow screen readers to see it. Great, great pickup there, Simon Engineering. What What do you think? Does how does that look? Was it two hundred by? What was the size of this? I was two twenty by one forty, so I think we're okay there. Robert Tables likes it. Uh, let's check in with Quiltoni and see what she thinks. Rusty Dove, thank you for the follow. Oh my gosh, twelve to go. Paging Quiltoni, paging Quiltoni. Hi, Fritz. You're needed on, on my channel. Um, okay. How does this look for the Blinking Now Live logo? Ooh, I like, I like it. Stelcy thinks we might want it to be just a little bit slower blinking. So if I go like that, how's that? That's almost too slow. Almost too slow? It's, it's a little bit faster. I like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good stuff. So, and then the other one that we wanted to do to make sure that I have this correct, we wanted to say, uh, join us or join, what do we want the text to be underneath? Okay, for if I'm live? For when you're not live. For oh, when you're when live, it live. says now live with the, it'll, with the flashing red. Um... Should it, shouldn't it be something about, like, um, follow me for future streams? Or no, that's too much text. Just follow now. Follow now. Okay. Yeah, make it pure and sweet. Because especially with um, with business, mm -hmm. um, the simpler, the better. Okay. Because you don't want to get too wordy, right? Because no. then you lose people. Okay, so I'm going yeah. to... Turn that one off. All right, I will nice. tie that last one down, save this off, and upload it so that we're ready to go here. Nice. S stand by. Oh. We'll check back in. What? Before you check back in, guess yeah, yeah. what I discovered just now? With products, yeah. you can have different variants of the product, and each variant can have its own inventory. So kind of like having T-shirts that are right there, all the, the T-shirt that says Twitch on it or yeah. whatever, and small, medium, large variants. Yeah, so oh, you, could have, you could have a um, the C-Sharp Fritz t-shirts, mm -hmm, and let's mm -hmm. say you have small, medium, large. So you can put the t-shirt, all the information, the variant of small, medium, large, and have the inventories of each. There we go. Okay. Uh, isn't that cool? Very cool. Yeah, I couldn't do the inventory with the um, with the other uh, other platforms. The I other came. platform. <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So yeah, cool thing. Okay. All right. I'll wrap this up and be right back. And we're out. I drink, and I know things. I do. All right. So instead of saying now live, let's clear out that text. And it was follow me now. Oh, no. I wanted white. There we go. Do it. Follow me now. All right. And I'll save that one. And make that a PNG. And status offline. Okay, that's good. And uh, control Z, good. So now I should be able to create GIF animation. View the GIF. There it is. All right, so I'm going to save the image. Uh -huh -huh. Twitch channel status. And I will call this now live GIF. Fantastic. So now, come back over here, assets. Yeah, we're going to add up here, browse. We're going to add now live. Um, let's rename that. I don't like now live. Status live.gif. That kind of makes sense. And I'll also add status offline. Eh, status live. I can only add one at a time. And now I feel shame. And this one was status offline. 
Shift Key TV. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you joining us. Um, oh my gosh. 11 to go. Right? Do I have that right? 11? <gasps> it's happening. It's happening. Status online would make more sense there. Um... Maybe. Playing the final countdown in your head right now. <laughs> uh, all right, so now I can change these. It was data. Let's see here. The two commands are data offline image, and the other one is data online image. All right. So let's copy that. So data online image equals... And it is, uh, right, online is going to be status live.gif. And then the other one is, uh, right, data offline image. Status offline PNG. Now let's see if it actually finds those and shows it. Control F5. Here we go. I'm feeling good about this, friends. Oh, what happened? Source, status live.gif. Can't find the image. Well, it's in the assets folder. It's got to be a subfolder. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be a subfolder. So, right, if I click this. If I say view image, where's it at? It's under slash assets. Ah okay. Okay. Um, Digital Sparky has a has a code pen for us. Give me one second here, and we will take a look at your um, at what you have in the code pen. I'm gonna finish wiring this one up here. Oh, but, uh, hang on. So that animated GIF is 8K, and it's 4K for the offline. I'm okay with that. So let's make this off of slash assets. I'm hitting control a lot. Save that. Here we go. Refresh. Feeling good. Is it going to happen? No. No image. Source assets dot gif can't find it. Huh. Huh. It should be relative. I would maybe. It's not you know what? It's not clear. Let me see what digital sparky has here for us. There might be something where I need to use some something from the template. Whoa. Okay, that's hot spit. That's really cool. Now, is that... You don't have any JavaScript. This is literally just a widget here. That's really cool. Would you need to, that to that funky URL completely? I... Oh, and I could inline the image data. I could... Um, so that's, how do I get to the assets? I'm not sure why these are purple. Hmm. Um, right, if I click over here, that's fine. Done. Go away. Yeah, I know. Um... And if I click that, that's stupid. Um, you know what? Banner JPEG, where is it? It's grabbing that, right? 
it's doing banner JPEGs somewhere. Right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can we grab that Shopify asset URL? Right, because it's doing like a script tag here like this. I may need to liquefy it. Yeah, I need to somehow get that asset URL to put into the mix. Hmm. Right, because if I look over here and we scroll up, Right, CDN, Shopify.com, Assets, Online Store, Theme Editor, blah, blah, blah. So it's slash S slash Assets. I mean, I, I could kind of, I could try to fake it out, right? Right, I could try to fake it. Don't know if this is correct, but the image tag is often used on Shopify with Liquid. Not sure if you'd put it into the HTML element. Let's see what we got there. Um, I'm looking. No, it's, that's not it. Let's see here. Um, right. So that generates an image tag, but I don't need the image tag. I need a URL filter. This cannot be used in conjunction if both filters are used. Right. I, I want to be able to say that's nice how it can put the other attributes on it for the CSS class. The image tag can also be used with, on the following objects. Alternate text, CSS class. Status online GIF at asset URL. Now that might give me the uh, just that image tag. Hey, good morning, nozzle gear. I think that'll give me just the image tag. I want to be able to grab just the asset URL. Can I get? Is it the URL filters to output links to assets? They're also used to create links for filtering collections and blogs. The plot thickens. Um, so I want an image URL. Returns the URL of an image. Accepts image size parameters. You can use e image URL on the following objects. Well, it is on an image. Okay. So can I just put that somewhere? Can I just stick that in something? Hmm. Not link to. Hmm. Um, for the data online image, that's what you would need, I guess. Yes, that the output of that is what I need. But I need just the URL. I don't need the image tag. This is going to generate an image. Isn't it going to generate an image? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Returns the URL of a global asset. There we go. Global asset URL, and it gets filtered into a script tag. I don't want the global asset, but it's one of my assets. All right. Thanks a lot, Frank. Thanks for joining us. You have a love-hate relationship with Spot with Shopify. I wrote the Shopify Sharp library for working with the Shopify API using .NET. Cool. They have some really awesome platform, but some of their practices have caused me a lot of frustration. It did have an asset image URL. Oh, fantastic. Asset image URL. Returns the asset URL of an image in the assets folder. Yes! Um, it accepts an image size parameter. Um, so I can just do, I can just do that, right? Right, so if I do, I, I, I can just give it acid URL to get that. 
right? So if I do something that looks like that, but instead of shop CSS, it's status live. Right, and if I scroll over here and do the same deal here, right, single quotes, asset URL, double curly brace, save that chalupa, and then, and then. we refresh. It works! <laughs> we should tell Quiltoni, shouldn't we? Now, uh, let's see. We all there was there was um, there was a very good point that we should put some sort of a um, an alt tag here, and we should probably wrap this with a link over to this. So I'm going to put a. Is it a title or an alt tag? I think it's a title. Um, uh, click to watch Quiltoni on Twitch. Alt. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. Uh, yeah, we need it. There it is. Uh, so let's also make sure we wrap this with an anchor tag. And we're going to send this to HTTPS, twitch.tv, quill tone. Hey, Fritz. Yes? I remember the second thing we were going to do that we talked about at the beginning of the stream is to add the little social um, thing in. Were we going to add that or were we just going to do the Twitch thing and have a link go out? Um, I don't remember. Because I think, because I know initially we were talking about adding the little Twitch thing in here, right here, next to the YouTube, Twitter, Instagram things. Yeah, yeah. But I think because of what you're doing here, that's plenty. I think just by having that Twitch in the big saying Twitch and being able to have it clickable, that'll be great. So now mouse over it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, wait, hold on, let me refresh it. Oh! <gasps> Did you just finish that? It's there. It's just a ah, thing. That is awesome. Yeah. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Smab is saying to... she found it. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to have it when you click it open another tab or? So, yeah, we should probably have it. Um, folks in my that channel. Not clicking away from my website. Yeah, I think we do want it to go to a new site. There we yeah. go. So it's going to target and blank. It'll go to a new tab. Nice. All right, let me refresh it and do it. And then, um, okay, there. Ha-ha, <laughs> it works! Holy crap! That's awesome. It's like we planned it that way. Now, there's... Oh, my God. <laughs> the other, now, the other cool thing that um, Robert Tables and a couple other folks on my side were suggesting is when you mouse over it, there there is some accessibility information. It should say, uh, <gasps> click to watch Ooh. Quilt Tony on Twitch, right? That's kind of... Yeah. This is... We want to make sure that folks who have a screen reader, they get appropriate information for them so that they can still use and interact with the site. Now, That's the, cool. The only question I have is, is that logo too big over there on the side? No. Okay, then. No, you can never have the Twitch be too big. Remember, I'm the woman at conventions. I wear a Twitch t-shirt every single day to okay. be like, hello, Twitch, hello. All right, so, there we yeah, go. I like that a lot. I like oh, hey, ma'am. Do so BBS Shop Minion just okay. followed. I have 11 to go. 11 followers to go. Holy crap. Oh, and, and Capes said that you're the magic man. Magic man? What did I do? You are. I don't, well, because you have a thing here that says it's, I'm live on Twitch. It's a thing. It's happening. We're getting <laughs> there. Okay. So, oh, look. And you, you see I have the join me on Twitch down here, too. <laughs> um, look, look. You want to see what I did? What'd you, what do you have? Look at the menu. There's a whole new menu now. I've yeah. got a thing for mats of holding. You okay. click on it. So hang on. So some yeah. of our some of our friends that um on my side haven't they haven't seen some of your products. What's a mat of holding? <gasps> a mat of
of holding is a brand new product you can only get from me that I invented. It is a mat that you can craft on or play test. You can play cards on. You can magic on it. You can do all sorts of things. You can you can game on it. So your miniatures. And then when you're ready to go, yeah. you keep all the things on the mat. You roll it up. You have a little flap that you hide everything in. You take your strap that comes with it. You strap it around, and it has a handle that you can hold it. Neat. And then you can take all of your crafting, your gaming on the go. Very cool. So, and, it, and it, it, that'd be great awesome. for, uh, I'm also thinking jigsaw puzzles is something yes. that I enjoy doing as well. Um, yeah. BB yeah, Bot just followed me. Jigsaw puzzle up, yes. So, um, but BB Bot just followed me. I have 10 to go. We are in, it, literally, I need to find. <gasps> Guys, we have 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 follows to go. I'm sure there's a bunch of bots out there that can go and follow him. No, don't just send <laughs> bots. <laughs> or, or. You could always just, you know, put it out there on Facebook and Twitter and all the things. All right, look, look, look at my mat of holding. Look, so you've got Disney mats of holding, and it's got the the um, the Alice in Wonderland. You click on it. <gasps> Digital Sparky, look. thank you for the follow. Nine to go. Uh, Jake, Jackal, GG. Jackal, AG, GG. Thanks so much for the follow. Woohoo! It's the final. Countdown. I'm trying to play it. I'm trying to play it. I'm going to get <laughs> muted. sing it no don't, don't oh yeah because i suck that's why that's why so my stream anniversary is on the 29th that's why for the stream anniversary one of the the goals because i'm raising money for able gamers is going to be a twitch sings because i am the worst singer in the entire world <laughs> and apparently people want to see me do a twitch sings and i just don't i don't know why no don't do that don't do that oh my oh, god wait till you see some of the other things on there as well it's just, it's going to be crazy. Um, okay, so then, oh, exactly how it is. Exactly, Janice, how do they place an order from this? Exactly. You, just, you go to my website, quiltoni.com, click on Matta Holding. If you want to buy the uh, Alice in Wonderland, now you see, click through here, you can see the Jack Skulls, you can see the villains. So let's say if I want to buy the Alice in Wonderland, add to cart. Oh, right here, material, Alice in Wonderland, Jack Skulls, villains. You add it to cart. You then go to your cart. View cards. Tie a shop. Hey, look at that. Quantity. Oh, wait. Let's bring our quantity down because we don't want to do that. It, and then... It's just DRK followed and here's Angel Fox Designs. Hey, those are some of my people. Thanks, guys. Thanks for following him. Seven to go. Look, look, look. Look at the things. It works. It works. You can buy it. it. So if you're over here on my channel, make sure you, you check out the Cadgar link that uh, Nightbot dropped in just a little bit ago. Thanks, Jam Mod, for calling that up. Digital Sparky says, I see one that's bigger on the inside. Yes, you do see a pattern. Now, that's a quilt pattern. So okay. with my, my patterns, actually, my patterns you can get um, in quilt stores and sewing stores around the world. This isn't um, just I, online. You can go into no. your local local shop and you can pick something up. I know that my patterns are in quilt stores and sewing stores in North America. Um, Germany, Australia, and the UK. Those are the ones okay. I, I personally know of. It could be more, but those are the ones people have seen. Uh-oh. Do you get this around the world? Um, and then, or you can get it online. My... Ooh. What, OBS disconnected? Yeah, Discord, and yeah, you're getting a little network uh, issue there. Too much Tony hype says it's just the RK. Oh, it's my internet. It's my internet. Is it's there a C sharp I'm Fritz quilt now. already? Dang it. <sighs> I think my internet just went down. No, but you're I, up. My internet's you're not here. down because I can still talk to you. It's just the OBS is down. But my, you joined quilt Tony. Okay, so come on guys. We got six minutes. What are you doing We're to me? Disconnected, almost reconnected. there. So I'm going to hit stop. And start. Hey, yeah, ancient coder. See, sometimes it's the decoder. It's so weird. All right, so I stopped and start. Refresh. Refresh. If you're looking for mine, refresh Cadgar, and you can there see it. There it goes. I'm good again. Okay. Um, Simon is so, asking, can you put together a C sharp bot with using the pixel mm -hmm. pixels that you have there? Right. You've seen some of my friends yeah. with the little bot emote. Dallas, thanks that might for the be follow. Cool. Yes, so it's there's a couple of things. So these are patterns. These are general patterns that are available around. 
Um, if you look at Fritz's screen down, you can actually see my book, which is in the secondary, uh, the second line. There you go. Um, that book actually teaches you how to make your own pixelated quilt patterns. It's um, pixel design, um, all sorts of things. Um, so it's really cool. So in order to do my patterns, you have to be able to use a sewing machine. But that's it. If you've never quilted before, if you've never done, if you can sew a straight line, you can do my patterns, period. Um, now, I did tell Fritz yes. that I am making him a quilt with all of his help with the website. So this way, if I if I need help with the website, I'll be like, hey, Nightshade. If Nightshade, I, thank you for the follow. If, oh. I, if I need help, if I need to run to him and be like, Fritz, Fritz, I need, I have a problem. <laughs> can, how, how? He's going to feel guilty and help me because I'm going to make him a quilt. <laughs> see, what, see what I did there? See oh, what I did there? the, the so guilt is strong. <laughs> it's not just because he's my friend. It's, he's not doing it for me because he's my friend. He's doing it because I'm going to guilt him. Think Fritz Rainbow Beard Products. So I've actually... Nice, nice. Some of so you saw got, this. <laughs> he's got to tell me what he wants. Yeah, yeah. So he's got to tell me what he wants in a quilt. If he wants his emote, um, we are actually possibly um, talking to a quilt designer friend of mine about designing a quilt that's basically all code. And then when you type the code in, you will actually get something. It'll actually go somewhere and show you something. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. so. so, yeah. So we're possibly doing a collaboration and, and getting that. I can't tell you anything else other than that, but it's because, you know. It's a thing. You, every, if people know me, they know I have like 15 secret projects all going on at once. Hyper Zen Girl, thank you for the follow. Hey, Hyper! I love you, woman. I love you. I think we're at four to go. There it is. Their number's just updated. Oh my gosh, we're going to flip this today. I can't. Four more. I, oh I need God. a drum roll. Do I have oh a drum God. roll sound effect? I don't have a drum no, roll. No, it's not a QR code. It's going to be actual code. So like the things that you saw Fritz typing into his, his computer thing, yeah. like... Like numbers and letters and, and things and, and yeah, seriously. <laughs> Fairy cool. wings may have every one on a Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, yes. Four nice. to go and nice, thanks, we'll dude. end up like this. Oh, my gosh. Um, so the, so there was one other thing that I wanted to look at here that okay. I think is important that, that both you and I are impacted on because we both use our phone a lot when we're at conferences and events there's a button up here at the top and shopify does a nice job of this right here's what it looks like when you're designing the website when you use what it would look like on a pc but what happens when it's on a phone so i click the phone button there i want to make sure this still looks okay yeah it still looks good we get that nice. twitch live button if it appeared on our phone so um i'm getting there so i can show my my site the same thing so this is what he's talking about up here so you can do that, and this is what it looks like on the phone. Uh, Voight Camp Phil is asking on my channel, four more of what? I need four more followers to reach 5,000 followers here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to be dyeing my beard rainbow for yeah. our stream on, it looks like Thursday is when I'll be doing it. Tuesday Tuesday's when I'm flying out, headed over to, uh, headed out to Seattle. I'll be at Channel 9 Studios later in this week. That's Microsoft's studio where we produce all kinds of developer TV. Um, but I'll be on Microsoft campus and uh, <laughs> I'll be wandering around with a rainbow beard. That's we'll awesome. message in No Opcat's channel that I went, uh, well, I didn't go live. When it happens? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Two more. Condor, LOL, and Voight Camp Phil. Nice. Two to go. Ellie Face is here. Hey, Ellie Face. I hope you're watching. Check out check out the Cadgar link. There's a dual command. Did you want to mention? D U A L. Oh, uh, yeah. very good point. There is an IP ownership thing that we do need to make sure that we we adhere to here. There's intellectual property that when you grab images, you grab uh, source code and you share it with folks. You do want to make sure that you abide by it. The code that we grabbed to work with and use here on on the site, it is licensed as MIT. MIT is an open source license. It's available for folks to use and share without, uh, without any legal ramifications. You're allowed to share and enhance as you see fit. There's another one. That is $49.99. Uh, Siri, 
Thank you so much for the oh, follow. Who's gonna One be the to go. Here it comes. Oh yes, Janice. my yes, gosh. So, so um, going on the copyright, Janice and my channel asked if I do all my own photography for the fabrics. Yes, I do not. If these are actual pictures of the fabric, of the mats of holding and other things I sell. I do not want to take a, pact a picture online from the manufacturer or anything else because, again, it's the whole copyright stuff. So I want to use pictures that I personally take. If you have a website like this, do not take pictures elsewhere. Use your own. Yeah. Use your own yeah. pictures unless it's something that is licensed and appropriately licensed that says, yes, you may share this. You'll see yes. stuff licensed with creative commons around it. And if it's... If it's licensed and made available so that it says share and share alike mm -hmm. or um, available for sharing with some modification, you're good to do that. You're you're eligible and allowed to do that. Who will be the 5,000th follower? Oh, my gosh. I know, right? There it is. Oh. Wait, we just got one? It Who ticked over. It? it ticked over. It. I didn't get a pop. There it is. M. Lassick. M. Lassick. He's one of mine. There it Yay! is. Thank you so much. We've hit our goal. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Captain Broadsides, Jay Sarah, our dog 3P. We've done it. Oh my that gosh. We've awesome. done it. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Oh fantastic. Yeah. Oh that's so awesome. My gosh. Congrats. 5,000 followers. Robert Tables, thank you so much for the kind cheer. That's yeah, yes, Ellie amazing. Face, your timing here is impeccable. Look at the quilt uh, it there in the the quilt emotes, the grats. Oh my gosh, all the .net nice. bots. The fairy nice. hype. Thank you so much, fairy wings. Uh, that is <laughs> that so is cool. Awesome. I am I am flattered that yeah. that everybody here has, has joined us today. And gosh, we had a great time just putting together yeah. this little widget here on on this. Um and uh, anti temp, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, now it's just gonna keep on happening. Now it's just gonna keep happening. Sequel, Mr. Yeah. Magoo, with the kind yeah. cheer. Congrats. <laughs> thank you so much. Capes and arrows, thank you. Thank you. Here's what I'm gonna yes. do since the code we were working on, I do a little thing here, uh, Quill Tony. When it, fairy wings, thank you so much for that kind cheer as well. Um, so I do a thing called bits for bites. And when folks contribute bits, I um, I wrote a little write a little code graffiti. Yeah. So inside of whatever it is that I'm working on, I record and list here for folks to find their cheers, mm -hmm. so that they're always available. So I'm going to write cheer from Robert Tables, one thousand on January 20, 2019. We also got one. We got several here. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, sequel Mr. Magoo with 500. And, oh my gosh. Fairy Wings, thank you. Fairy Wings. Was there another one there that I missed? Nope, we got them all. Thank you so much, everybody. And we'll commit that. We'll have that in our in our source code repository here. Let me run over. So nice. that was uh, Twitch channel status. All right. So before Fantastic. we end, because again, just a two hour stream. Oh yeah. I think we, we got everything done. So if you following along with me, I'm going to spend the rest of today uploading new things. I've got to think about something witty for the Matt to holding for the description. But it's live. Thank you so much, honey, for the 12 bitch here. <laughs> that was my husband. <laughs> um, so it is, um, I'm just going to be working on this all day, but it's live. You can go on and buy patterns. You can buy books. You can buy the mats of holding. It is live. I'm so excited. And you'll get that, that status update and the click through that promotes the Twitch channel over on the left side. Awesome stuff. I'm so excited. So excited. It is, um, yeah, so... And I'm live and I'm ready. I'm going. It's, so, it's happening. And I've got some folks asking me in the chat room, what am I going to do for 10,000 follows? 
Ooh. I don't know. Not body paint. Not rainbow body paint. But we will we'll get <gasps> yes! set up to do the rainbow beard. No. Yes. No yes! rainbow body. Yeah. No. We tried to do the five thousand for TwitchCon. We we missed that goal, but we hit it yeah. today. And I will do it That's for awesome. Channel Nine this week. That rainbow awesome. hair yeah. dye. No, guys, guys. If we hit ten thousand by TwitchCon, I will paint. I will paint him. I will paint him. <laughs> Rainbow him. pasties. No, bad idea. Rubber tables. We bad will do a idea. body paint. I will. I will paint Fritz if we can get him to ten thousand by TwitchCon because I know I'm going to see him at TwitchCon, right? Oh yeah, I yeah. I should so be we're there. We're in the same room. I mean. Yeah, th happen. the Fritz bot doesn't know the dual command. It's coming off of Nightbot on my side. <laughs> uh, uh, my, my, my stream may be going a little crazy. A little I crazy? Oh, like, yeah. They love this idea. They love this idea. Rainbow yes. eyebrows? Oh, man. They're... Somebody on my side, where was it? Somebody suggested a Twitch tattoo at 100,000. Oh. I don't have a... Well, see, and I am... Twi so with tattoos, I am going to get a Twitch tattoo if I get partnered. Because to me, that is the, that's a good goal in order to get that tattoo. Of course, I have my Ohana tattoo representing my sewing and my quilting family. And of course, I've got my St. Jude tattoo because of all the money that uh, we've raised for St. Jude in my community. So I, um, <laughs> no, don't pay to see Rainbow Pasties. That's a bad idea. Uh, TwitchCon's <laughs> typically in October. Yes. Um, yes. next step to make a Quiltoni shop extension. I don't know. Maybe. Wait, do a what? Um, one of the folks here is suggesting a Quiltoni shop extension. What's the extension what for? Yeah. Give me some details. What are you thinking about that? Twitch what's, what's, well, what is an extension? What do you mean? Right. An extension to what is the question? Built into Twitch. A Twitch extension that is Quiltoni shop. That might be interesting. TwitchCon Me? EU is uh, coming up in April. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think we're going to be able to make it to that one. I have another event that same week. Nope. I have, and personally, I have um, AwesomeCon. So, the Rainbow Beard Jeff Ping looks oddly familiar. Yes, Nightbeat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, right. thank you for the follow. Sharkana, 321... Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you everybody on my side for the follows. Thank you, Quill Tony. This was a this was a really fun stream. But so, so what do you think of dual streaming? It's interesting. It's interesting. different. <laughs> Um, well, see, I, I do this for, for those in, in Fritz's channel. I do this on a regular basis. This is what I'm known for because I travel all the time. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of dual streams, whether it's like this, whether it's you know virtual or in person. I will go find other streamers and I'll sit and I will do streams with them and you watch both of us on the different channels. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I So what I run into here is that uh, most of the folks that I have on are not streamers. So I have them I have them guest and and mm -hmm. dial them in with Skype. But having folks on that do stream, things like the way that we've hooked this up today, it works worked really nicely. I think there's a uh, an opportunity when Stream Squads comes out here on Twitch um, mm -hmm. for That's us be to so much easier. Yeah, for us to do something fun. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm going to set up and and get ready to raid. I have um, I know where I'm going. Can I see I you can say where you're going. I'll say where I'm going so that people can, you know, go both places maybe. You know, open okay, two windows. Okay, sure, absolutely. Um, I may have been talking to a, a little birdie named Fierce Kittens about the stream today. We know and her. Those, those in my stream may see may have noticed about 30 minutes ago, Kitten says, oh, I'm going to go take a shower and do things. Yeah, the do things was I convinced her to do a surprise Sunday afternoon stream because she's been having a really hard time with, with personal life lately. Yeah. Um, so I may have convinced her to have a surprise stream today and knowing that I'm going to go. <laughs> cool. So where are you going? Who are you going to? So we're, I'm going to raid our friend No Opcat, uh, Suze Hinton. She's writing some JavaScript code uh, that works with uh, Raspberry Pi and other little IoT circuit boards and things. Um, she's tremendous at writing at writing JavaScript, and she has a real chill stream where she goes through and, and talks through the code and, and gets folks up to speed on the various things that she's building. So we're going to raid over to there from my stream. Nice. Okay, so I am in your 
scream as well. So I'm going to go with you and shoot her a follow. Fantastic. All righty. Awesome. And uh, everybody else who's in my stream, if you want to check out what's happening over there, sit tight. Mm -hmm. You'll get rerouted over there automatically if you haven't been through a raid before. Um, this video, my video on my side, will be available on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C Sharp Fritz in just a few hours. Um, and I'll probably put mine up in a day or two. I decided I'm going to put my video up on YouTube. Well, and I'll link back to Fritz's. So if you're watching this on YouTube, if you want to see the other half of it, go down in the comments. You can see his YouTube. Fantastic. Thanks so much, everybody, yeah. for joining us. Thank you, Quill Tony. This was a lot of fun today. Thank you, Fritz. All right, I will see you guys. I will be back tomorrow night, hopefully with some cosplay. Mwah. All righty. Catch you later, everybody. Thanks so much. Mm.